see the aorta and the aorta takes blood away out of the left ventricle and then distributes it towards the systemic circuit. So this portion of the aorta that goes up is the ascending aorta and then the aorta makes a turn, which is what we call aortic arch. Out of the aortic arch, we have three branches, the brachiocephalic artery, then the second branch is the common carotid artery, but since this is the left side of the heart, this is specifically the left common carotid artery. And then we also have the third branch, which is the left subclavian artery. Now let's focus on the left common carotid artery. If we follow it up, we can see here that the left common carotid artery splits into two. And that's why it was named common, right? The left common carotid artery gives rise to the external carotid artery, which is always anterior, and the internal carotid artery, which is always posterior. So you need to remember that the external carotid artery is always anterior. And the way you do to remember that is instead of saying Amex for the American Express credit card, you say Anex. So Anex, A-N for anterior and X for the external. So the anterior one is always the external. So this is the external carotid artery, which means that the posterior one will be the internal carotid artery.